Okay. Okay. Hey. Hey. Okay. Okay. Let go. Are you ready for action? Giggling as she laughing as Stevie pursue a passion, trailblazing to satisfaction. The Stevie is everlasting. Her drive, no one could match it. We knew that Stevie could make it on top, but she always saying these words to encourage you. Stick around, she'll empower you. Turn the negative positive. And she just keeping it real. She doing it from the heart. Motivation was a start. If Stevie say you can make it, it's a bet that you will. It's just Stevie, just Stevie. Just Stevie. It's just Stevie, yep, just Stevie Mills. It's just Stevie, yep, just Stevie. It's just Stevie, yep, it's just Stevie Mills. Just Stevie, yep, it's just Stevie. It's just Stevie, yep, it's just Stevie Mills. Just Stevie, yep, it's just Stevie. It's just Stevie, yep, it's just Stevie Mills. Everybody, hello, how are you? I am Stevie Aisha Mills, and you are here at the Just Stevie Show. Get excited. I am here each and every day with you. That's fun. I love hanging out with you guys. Why? Because y'all are some powerful people, and you've got to understand and believe that. I remember one time when I was not sure of my power. I was not sure of my power. I didn't understand it. I didn't know who I was supposed to be. I was trying to fit in, trying to blend and mingle and mix with it, any and everybody, right? And so I understood that I am a powerhouse. I am a powerhouse. And therefore, I started being able to not only be an author, not only be a speaker, not only be a PR coach, but to be a talk show host. You know, sometimes when you're small, people tell you to not do something. My thing that they told me not to do was not talk so much, but guess what? Now I'm getting paid to talk. So <laughs> you see how that mix comes around? And we are excited to have you here because I want you to be part of the conversation. I want you to be part of the show because you deserve it. You deserve to be just as powerful you, as you desire to be. And nobody can tell you that you can't. Nobody can tell you that you won't. You can only make that decision for yourself. And so... Today, we are excited about having a special guest. I cannot wait for y'all to meet this person. Oh my goodness. And I cannot wait to share the word of the day with you. You know, we always connect our words with our guests and it's a very special thing. So grab your pens, grab your pads, and come on back. We'll see you in just a moment after a word from our sponsors. Stevie, just Stevie, yep, just Stevie. It's just Stevie, yep, just Stevie Mills. It's just Stevie, yep, just Stevie. It's just Stevie, yep, it's just Stevie Mills. Just Stevie. Have you ever asked yourself, how do I show up in the world? How do I leave my mark? How do I get up every day and be the best I can be? It all starts with a mindset. The mindset to keep pushing through all adversity to wear the titles of confident, self-reliant, and eternally beautiful. It all starts from within. Think, feel, be. Facebook page basically every day 
And today's Stevie says is this. You've only got one life, so live it well. You've only got one life, so live it well. It is your life. Nobody has to give you permission to do you, boo. Nobody. Nobody has to give you permission to understand that you are indeed the person that you need to be. So many people in society hold constraints, right? They hold constraints on us. And they try to say who we should be, why we should be, what we should be doing. But guess what? When you understand who you are, when you rock your it factor to the fullest, then you can understand that this is your life. This is your life. You know, we have wisdom from our elders. We have wisdom from people who have done things that we, you know, it helps to understand that wisdom because we don't have to do what they did, right? We don't have to go through that bumpy road that they experienced. But the same hand, guess what? If we decide to live our life in this way, we have to deal with the consequences. So I encourage you to have fun. Have fun. I always say fun is not a niche, it's a necessity. You got to live it up. You got to not take yourself so seriously. And I am excited to talk to you about that, Stevie says. Now, let's talk about the word of the day. The word of the day today is metamorphosis. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> metamorphosis. And when I think of the word metamorphosis, I think of a butterfly. I remember when I was on a job, the last job I ever had back in 2009, my manager would call me butterfly. She would say, Stevie, you are, that's what she would call me. And even to this day, all these years later, she still calls me butterfly. And when I turned in that two-week notice, she said, it's time, butterfly, for you to spread your wings. And that's what I did. So metamorphosis, the common definition, is a change. But my definition is to go ahead, live your life, give yourself that permission slip, sign it, rock it out. And the young woman that we have today, you will be able to hear her butterfly story. You will be able to hear why and how she decided to go through a metamorphosis. And if you know anything about butterflies, guess what? It's not always the easiest process. Sometimes you have to go through the cocoon so that you can spread your wings and come out better. So we will be right back after this video. You're going to check out her bio because you're going to be glad you did. We'll be right back in just a few moments. It's just Stevie, yep, just Stevie Mills. It's just Stevie, yep, just Stevie. It's just Stevie, yep, it's just Stevie Mills. Just Stevie. Who is N. Wesley Pugsley Jr. and Associates CPA? We are a full service CPA firm with over 25 years' experience in audit, tax, bookkeeping, payroll, including direct deposits, setting a 501c3 nonprofit status, preparing loan packages, and much more. Since tax season is right around the corner, our focus today will be on taxes. We have an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau. What sets your CPA firm apart from other CPA tax preparers? Technology. When I started in public accounting in the early 1980s, there were no computers or fax machines. Everything was face-to-face -face meetings. With the advent of computers, the internet and cloud-based software, we can communicate with any client from anywhere in the country. With our portal technology, which is similar to online banking, you just sign into our secure website, upload your tax document, you scan to your C drive, and we prepare your return. We've prepared taxes for over 15 different states in the past three years from California to New York. We have the state tax software for all states. With Skype being on phones and Facebook, we can meet with you face-to-face -face in the comfort of your home. It appears times are changing. I call this the year of enlightenment. Many Americans are seeing the advantages of supporting community-based businesses. We are here to serve you, not just because we're a community-based firm, but because we have the experience. We know we can serve your needs. How are you giving back? If you mention the Renaissance Academy when we prepare your taxes, 5% of your tax prep fee will be donated by our firm to this organization. The Renaissance Academy is a program designed to engage middle and high school African-American males in a series of college trips community service, job shadowing, workshops, and events promoting academic and social and financial skills. See their website for more information.
It's just Stevie, yep, just Stevie Mills. It's just Stevie, yep, just Stevie. It's just Stevie, yep, it's just Stevie Mills. Just Everybody, it's me, Erica Kane, from New Focus Group. A lot of you know us from Focus Radio, which is part of New Focus Group. And I'm here on the Just TV show. My word is metamorphosis. Metamorphosis is usually how a caterpillar turns into a butterfly. A big change. They go through a series of different uh, appearances, and finally they turn and blossom into a beautiful butter, but uh, butterfly. Sorry, kind of like how we do in business. Um, new focus group is Focus Radio. I started out in sales and worked my way up into the butterfly chief operating officer, which is now another metamorphosis went into focus fashion so we're having a fashion show friday we're excited about that um we've launched a magazine we're excited about that so a bunch of metamorphoses are going on it's time for you to find your metamorphosis did live in Roanoke many, many years ago. I didn't grow up here. I grew up in Jersey, actually. And then when uh, things changed in my life, I moved here when I was in the ninth grade, graduated from high school here, um, went back to Jersey. Um, I came back again. I had my son and realized that I wanted to do other things so of course I went back to Jersey where there was more opportunity in Jersey I ended up doing sales and other things but finally ended my career in real estate I was in real estate for 17 years uh, also property management also leasing anything pertaining to real estate I did it um, so then, of course, it was a change, another metamorphosis, because I have to call these changes metamorphosis. I came back to Roanoke some odd years later, over 20 years later, once my son was settled and in college and I knew where his life was going, I changed my direction of life and came back to Roanoke. I uh, started doing sales and then I started doing sales with folks radio as you can see I've been through years and years of metamorphosis that's how you grow and that's how you blossom into beautiful butterflies welcome back to the just Stevie show as you know our word of the day is metamorphosis and I am excited to bring our next guest on so we could talk about her butterfly story and so you can understand that you do have to go through some changes in life but when you come out from those changes it's that much better so without any further ado please help me welcome miss erica kane hey, how are you how are you good thank you for having me yes y'all y'all see she is a butterfly honey <laughs> Fly boots and fly everything. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. And I'm excited to have you here. Please just. I'm excited to yay. be here. Thank you for having me. You're so welcome. And I'm so happy for you and I want to congratulate you Aww. for what you do. Oh, um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Every woman should find out what her it factor is. Yes, ma'am. I love it. I love it. And I've been able to really sit back and watch you just really change and develop and even in these months I've known you, you've done some growing and showing. <laughs> Every day you grow. Yes. Every yes. day you grow. Yes. Let's talk about your background. Tell us about your okay. professional background. Well, my background has always been real estate. It was real estate for years. Um, real estate, property management. That's what I did in Jersey. I did it a little bit when I first moved to Roanoke. 
And then, of course, when myself and my fiance now got together, his background was totally different from mine. His, his is radio and digital media, you know, and TV. Mm -hmm. So, um, we combine things together, and here I am. Yes, and that's awesome because I always think that people, you know, find people who they fit with. So even though you may not have been like in those type of things, but you had to know some sales and some media and some things to be as successful as you have been. Well, what happened was exactly, I um, knew sales. Mm -hmm. So that's all I wanted to do. <laughs> that's all I said. All right, Tommy, I'll do sales. That's it. I don't want to be in the front. Keep me back there doing the sales. And of course, here I am now. So I ended up, he, he said, well, no, I need you to do this, or I need you to do that, or why don't you do the show, or why don't you do this? And he had me doing things I'd never done before, um, you know, such as the magazine, such as the being in front on the radio show and, and everything with them. So um, it all formed into what it is now, I guess. I love it. I love it. And y'all, if you have not seen this magazine, you better get you an issue, honey. Thank you. What, tell us about the magazine. So again, with Tommy, he had the Focus magazine, and uh, we were talking about fashion because when I was in my 20s, I modeled, and, um, and I was always into fashion. So I said, Tommy, you know, we need a fashion magazine. And he says, no, let's just put the fashion <laughs> in Focus magazine. And I said, it needs its own separate, you know, it needs its own separate piece because women cater to just a fashion magazine more, you know. And I was into fashion, so I didn't want to just give it three pages. I wanted to give it several pages. Mm -hmm. And so I, he finally said, okay. And I said, okay. So we ended up with the Focus Fashion Magazine, which was launched in October. Yes, October is the best month October. of the year, in case y'all didn't know. No. It is. <laughs> Both are perfect. Yes, so, ma'am. Yeah, it it is. is. And I That's love it. I it love it. I love it because, you know, I always say your comfort zone is your broke and your broken zone, right? right? And in order to have a metamorphosis experience, you can't stay there. And even though some people are scared and pushing their way and saying, I cannot do this, you it's know. It's very scary. Yes. It's very scary. Yes. Every day, you know, you learn something different. Tommy is my teacher. Um, but going from one career to something that you know nothing about is very challenging. But you face your fears. And you rock it you out. face your fears and you do it. <laughs> And then that's how you come up with your it factor. Yes, 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 mm -hmm. yes. I, it's funny because a lot of people don't know. I am a very extroverted person, uh -huh. but I have some introverted moments. Okay. I do. So I understand being an introvert. Right. Like some people, I, I love like lights, camera, action, things, but I'm very introverted. If I'm in a room with somebody I don't know, until I know you, I'm going to be kind of in the corner. Exactly. That's how I'm pulled out. So those are introverted traits. But what I do know about introverts, you know, they sit and they watch, mm -hmm. and they're going to assess, mm -hmm. and then they're going to come out. And I think that's awesome. So how do you think you've been able to soar so successfully transitioning, metamorphosizing, into this role that you, now you're like, because oh, I have a teacher. Yes, you yes. Know, if I didn't have a teacher, it would be harder for me. I'd have to do a lot more research. I'd have to do a lot more on my own. But because I have such a great teacher, it's easier for me to learn from that. I love that. Mm -hmm. I love that. You've got to have a coach, exactly. right? And um, I have a co I have a business coach. I have a life coach. Because <laughs> I'm trying to get this thing right as much as I can. Because I fell into business. Some things that people don't know, I, I didn't go to school for business okay. at all. I didn't go to school for business. I never thought that I would be an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. I just tell people I fell into this. I thought I was going to be doing PR in New York until I realized I don't like the code. But, okay. <laughs> but okay. I thought that was going to be my thing. And when I got on a job and realized that I hated it, mm -hmm. that it was not the right environment, that I'm too like free for corporate America, then I had to do something. Right. And it just happened to be entrepreneurship where I found my freedom. So you can't be scared. And since 2009, it's been this journey of like 
this is what we're gonna do. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that I was gonna publish a book or I didn't know that I would have a TV show. I didn't know, that was God. So I think a lot of times when you go with God, he'll guide you mm -hmm. and he'll be, you know, he'll help you. And so as we talk about just this amazing fashion that you're bringing to the Run Up Valley, because a lot of times people like fashion and Run Up, what do you think you are bringing to the stage when you think about fashion? What is it that you want people to know about? Well, fashion can be a piece of clothing from the Goodwill or it could be um, Yves Saint Laurent. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, fashion is what you make it your statement what you make it i could put on a 99 cent t-shirt and dazzle it up with earrings mm -hmm. and accessories and make it look like it's ten thousand mm -hmm. dollars you know it's, it's what mm -hmm. people make it and that's mm -hmm. what i want them to learn because in my magazine you're going to have goodwill fashions you're going to have top of the line fashions but it's what they make it i, I want people it. to be able to afford everything not just think that i have to have the top in order to be fashionable because it's more than just a name brand. You make your own name, you make your own clothes. That's right. That's right. And I, I really do see some fashion classes coming in your life. I don't know if you've thought about that by like putting together things for people because some people need that. Right. Like we need stylists. Because some of us, we need we need y'all to mail it to the house. <laughs> I could go to the 99 cent store, but it's not going to come out looking like this. So, well, you, we'll put it together. Yes. We'll definitely put yes. it together for them to help them out. But again, and I want models to not just be a size 2 like they had to be back in the 80s. Mm -hmm. They can be various sizes and they can have the flaws and the flaws can be beautiful. You yes. Know? Yes. I want everybody to find their own beauty. Again, finding your it yes. factor. And I love the fact that the fashion show that you recently had, which I got the whole show. <laughs> <laughs> and that, you were phenomenal. Thank, so you. thank you so much. Thank you so thank much. You. It was fun. I had fun. But I love the fact that you had, you really did. You had all kinds of beautiful shapes and sizes. And that's important. That is truly important, especially somebody like I've always wanted to model. But traditionally, being my height, you don't see that. But um, my girl Phaedra, she's modeling now. So <laughs> <laughs> she she looks kind of like me. But I think that's awesome. And why do you think it's important for people to understand that it is their own power that makes the clothes? Um, that's a good question, Stevie. It. They make the clothes because we see so many people like models or in magazines feeling like it's a name that makes the clothes or you have to spend um, $10,000 on a name brand in order to feel a certain way. And the truth is you don't. Mm -hmm. It's within you. Mm -hmm. It's within you. It's that courage and confidence. It's is that confidence when you wear something because you can wear some crazy stuff and like you're saying mm -hmm. put it together and just feel and i think that's so important ladies that we just really start understanding our inside power exactly. like and i think that sometimes society has beaten us down or we feel like we're we don't look like whatever we're right. supposed to look you know i know i used to be picked on <laughs> about my lips i used to come home crying every day Yes. That's what I don't want. Yes. And, and that's what I'm staying away from in my magazine. I'm not being stereotypical mm -hmm. at all. You know, I want every woman to feel beautiful because there's beauty in everybody. Mm -hmm. so. And it starts young. You know, it's when definitely. I, I was in elementary school, I would get picked on so bad. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, mommy, what? And especially about my name, I didn't want to be named Stevie. Aww. I did not. I was like, Mom, why can't I be Stacy, Stephanie, Samantha, something that people know? Why would you have to name me this? Now I own it. But then I was like, I don't get it. Why am I different? I didn't want to be different. He's a brand now. Yes. Tell him. Amen. Yes. 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 <laughs> and that's the, that's the thing. That's the thing that you have to just own it and go through those processes. And a lot of times you just, it's not always easy. That metamorphosis has to happen. Exactly. That change. That change. And so what do you think was your metamorphosis moment that you're like, I am, this is where I'm going to be. This is how I'm going to live my life. Metamorphosis moment. Um, I don't 
know exactly. I can't really give you an exact or my metamorphosis moment. All I know is that a change happened and I went with it. Mm. That's all I can say. Mm. I mean, I was so doing the same thing over and over and over again for 17 years mm. that finally I just allowed change to happen. Mm. That's powerful because what you just said, allowed. I allowed it. You went, I went with it. Yes. And that's that's the best I can Yes, and I love that. I love that that because it may seem like it's not a simple thing what you just said. That is so powerful. Mm -hmm. That is powerful because a lot of times we want to go against the grain. Mm -hmm. We want to keep it moving. We want to keep going and going Mm -hmm. even though we're drowning, right? Right. Like for me, I wanted to stay in corporate America. I earned two degrees from university. Uh It it was crazy for me to become an entrepreneur. But were you happy? Heck no. I was about to die, literally and figuratively. (laughs) I was about to die, but for me, it was like, okay, what can we do? So when I allowed, after the conversations, the prayers, all that, after I allowed it, then this is what was beyond that point. But I think you have to get sick and tired of being sick and tired, right? right? You have got to get to that point where you're like, I can't take this no more. I don't know what's about to happen, but like Steve Harvey says, um, jump. It's time to jump. And that's what happens. And when you jump, know that God has you for the rest of the way. Mm -hmm. And so I want to make sure that we definitely talk about, like, the fashion shows that you have coming up and all of that great stuff before we leave. So go ahead. Um, Well, January the 12th, Friday, January the 12th, I have a fashion show here at the Dumas Theater from 7 to 11 p.m. called A Winner's Night Dream. I have two designers coming from North Carolina. Woo, woo. Go ahead, One Izzy. is Andrea Darcel. <laughs> she does elegant gowns. And then I have Brian Atkins from Studio B Designs. He has all kinds of funky designs. Mm. So you'll definitely have to check him out. Mm-hmm. And I also have Brian B Fashions. So that's a local boutique here in Roanoke. And they have they cater to plus size women. Mm. Yeah. So all of us who like to eat some macaroni and cheese and um, buffalo <laughs> wings and chicken, we, well, you we definitely don't. <laughs> can do that and still be able to fit the clothes. Yes, no yes, so. that's what we like to do. And I think that is important to understand that you could be fashionable, you could be fierce, you could be all these things, mm-hmm. but if you don't understand who you are holistically, right. then it won't care. You can't. The clothes will wear you as opposed to you wearing, wearing the clothes. The clothes. And I think it's just phenomenal that what you do is beyond fashion, it's beyond radio, it's beyond media. What you really do is to help become women become fearless. And you do that by being a living, breathing example. And I think that Thank that is the you. biggest thing that you can do. Thank because you. a lot of people could talk the talk and, honey, if you can't walk the walk, I don't want to walk with you. That's it. So thank you for being this phenomenal woman that Thank you are, you. who is such a beautiful, like a, it's almost like a quiet storm, right? Mm-hmm. Somebody, mm-hmm. she's gonna understand who you are, she's gonna get with you where you are, but trust and believe she knows her stuff. So thank you. Thank you for having yes, me. Thank you so, so much. Excited. Thank you. Keep thank rocking you. your it factor. And you do the same. Thank you, my you sister. Hugs same. and love. Hugs and love. moment. I know that sometimes you may not be able to know what that exact moment is, 
But you know something changed. I know when I was like on that job the last day, I can tell you that when I was about to leave that job, I had just told them a few months ago, asked them actually, because on jobs you got to ask for permission, but I had asked them, could I go to a birthday trip? And they gave me permission. I put all of the like funds into the trip. I got my days off, but then there was a management change. And the new management acted like I never say anything to the company. And so that was my metamorphosis. That was like, deuces, two fingers, I'm out. <laughs> and it took that exact moment for me to understand that I needed my freedom. I could not be under these constraints. And it's funny because growing up, my parents were considered black hippies. They were. My parents were very rock and roll type of people. You'll learn more about them throughout the show. But I could not understand that. I was not used to constraints. I had gone to college all my life, it seemed like, school all my life, from the time I was in kindergarten to grad school. So I wasn't used to somebody telling me when and where and how I could do something. So yeah, that was my metamorphosis moment. One of them, because there's been a whole lot of changes. I changed kind of quickly. Y'all will find that out about me. But I am excited that we had this talk today that we discovered what metamorphosis is walking and looking like and being a billboard through Miss Erica Kane, as beautiful as she is inside and out. It has been a pleasure to be with you all today. I am Stevie Aisha Mills. This is the Just Stevie Show. I'm excited that you are here with me. Guess what? It is now your turn. Definitely want to know what your metamorphosis moment is. Take some time today to figure it out and to let us know. So, guess what? We are telling you to not have a great day. Don't have a great day. We don't believe in having great days. We believe in making great days. Make it a great day. Why? Because you, 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 and yes, you too have the power to do so. Bye for now. Passion, trailblazing to satisfaction. This Stevie is everlasting. Her drive, no one could match it. We knew that Stevie could make it. On top of she always saying these words to encourage you. Stick around, she'll empower you. Turning negative positive. And she just keeping it real. She doing it from the heart. Motivation was a start. If Stevie say you can make it, it's a bet that you will. It's just Stevie, just Stevie. Yep. Just Stevie. It's just Stevie. Yep. Just Stevie Mills, it's just Stevie, yep, just Stevie, it's just Stevie, yep, it's just Stevie Mills, just Stevie, yep, it's just Stevie, it's just Stevie, yep, it's just Stevie Mills, just Stevie, yep, it's just Stevie, it's just Stevie, yep, it's just Stevie Mills.